Welcome back to the channel, and we are here for another episode of the East Carolina Pirates Road to Glory Conference Championship Week. What else can be said? But some some teams are gonna fall. We'll find out which teams. Georgia Tech is actually number one with two losses. Wow. It's kind of astonishing. Clemson, number two with a loss. Ohio State, number three with a loss. And Florida, number four with a loss. And your Pirates sit comfortably at number eight in the college football playoff ranking. Um, we will take another quick peek at the Heisman. Looks like Raji Harris still comfortably in the lead. And that's what I want, the schedules. We're gonna, we're not gonna simulate it because we want the studio updates. I was thinking about simulating it, but we don't. So Miami of Ohio, number nine in the MAC. The SEC Championship will have Florida and four loss Alabama, number 23 in the nation. And that would be that would be one of the ones that we're hoping for is a I feel so weird saying this a Alabama upset over Florida and kind of what you would say the national championship of old the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets facing off against the Clemson Tigers in the ACC championship number one number two. Oh, that's rough, man. Can you really take one of them out? I mean, Georgia Tech, you argue they have two losses, so really, should they be number one? I haven't looked at their schedule, so that's potentially up for debate. And then we have Cal and USC and Wisconsin and Ohio State. A lot of potential for us to sneak into the college football playoffs. We do have a offensive coordinator upgrade and defensive coordinator upgrade. So we'll do man coverage. No. We'll do zone coverage. We run a little more zone than man. And for the offensive coordinator, we'll go catching. Try to eliminate those wide open drops from our receivers and Rice looking to play host to upset the Pirates I just oh man they're good they're good we can't take this lightly we're coming in the all blacks <sighs> yeah, this is this is it this is it this is for all the money. Lenny Stone, 86 overall. We will get to, I think, being a better passing team once Raji Harris leaves. But right now we have such a good thing going with him. I just, I, I can't see myself getting away from it. And definitely not going to get away from it in the conference championship. Especially with, yes, you guessed it, rain. My God, you would think we're playing in Washington State with all of this rain. Rice will win the kick, or I guess the kick, they do win the kick. They win the coin toss and they will defer. Oh, I picked the wrong one. That's a yikes. The Rice Owls is lined up for the kickoff. All right, this is going to be unreturnable as it flies out of the back of the end zone. And as you know, tempo conservative, big hit, strip ball conservative, option contain, aggressive. We will come out aggressive. We will come out heavy in the run game. Good cut by Harris. Harris going to get five. 
Harris up to 2,100 yards in the season. I mean, my lord, what a season from Raji Harris. I don't know exactly what the NCAA record is for most rush yards in a season, but he might be breaking it. Just move the ball. Don't overcomplicate it. Do what got us here. Roger Harris, great cut. 15 yards on the halfback weak zone. And it looks to me that we are the first game of the conference championship. Roger Harris going to bounce it outside and break a tackle. Fight forward for a gain of eight. Yeah, it looks like we are the first team as you look down on the ESPN score ticker. The only other game going on is Miami of Ohio. Wise going to cut it up. He'll break a tackle. He'll spin off a tackle. Wise, seven yards. We briefly discussed Bobby Wise and his contributions to this team in the last episode. And moving forward, he will be halfback one and he will have some big shoes to fill. Good run by Harris. Nine yards on the read option. I mean, you could only help, help, help. You could only hope to get the same kind of production from Wise as Harris. As Harris will go forward for another seven yard on the inside zone. And we'll, it looks like we may not even have to pass the ball. Even with the blitzing, this team can't stop Harris as he gets another first down and 11 yards on the halfback weak zone. I mean, who can stop this guy? Who can? Breaks a tackle and will fight to get back to the line of scrimmage. Give him one more try here before we break out into the pass. And that might be all he needs as he fights in. Touchdown, East Carolina. This guy, absolutely unreal. Absolutely unreal. So the Pirates take a early 7-0 lead with three minutes left in the first quarter. All right. Now, the big question of the whole series, how do we stop this team? As he floats it up there. Wow, Frederick makes a great diving attempt to knock the ball away. And, you know, that may be a, um, a good thing for us with the weather. As we see the rain. Oh, no. Oh, no. McKnight will close down Suckley to meet him behind the line after a negative one-yard catch. As we saw on the first pass play, the Rice receiver had it slip out of his hands. I'm going to follow this. Oh, it's a screen. Oh, Frederick, come on. That was so weak. Griffin going to get 16 on the screen. We were so close to bringing him down, too. I mean, and just such a weak little chip block on Frederick to send him pummeling into the ground. We'll bring the blitz again. We've been having um, a little bit more luck with the blitz as of late. And I say that, and maybe I'm going to eat my words here. Steven, ball's on the ground. Heldman picks it up. And Heldman has the quarterback to beat, and he's going to be shoved out of bounds. I think he was down. I'm going to be honest. I think he was down. I really do. 
and the rice coach is going to throw the coach's challenge flag he's tripped he's down ball comes out yep as i thought so i was a little surprised when it happened i was like oh the ball's out we see the knee there not a good view of the football but a little convincing on the other and they will go with reversing the play. The East Carolina fans booing. Not that they really care if it was a fumble or not. They just didn't get the ball back. Nelson's going to be pushed off. Good. Oh, come on. Mason unable, or Mason will be able to bring him down. I'm so used to not being able to make a tackle. I just already pre-programmed it into my brain to say the first defender is unable to bring him down but Mason does prove me wrong and Dr. and Laney will team up together to bring down Griffin after a four yard game and this is the question the question of the series how do you stop anyone we've had a little bit of success okay Okay, yep, and there we go. There's there's the broken tackles I was talking about. That's Frederick, um, 0 for 2 on big plays that he needed to make. Right there, just bumping shoulder pads. And the chip block, so that's good. Kick is up and good, and we have a tie game. But... Yeah, I just, we can't stop anyone. I mean, sure, we stopped Louisiana Tech, but it's Louisiana Tech. Sure, we stopped, stopped the Roadrunners, but it's the Roadrunners. No offense to them. I have a soft spot in my heart for them forever going forward. But, I mean, what do you do? We're going to get a weird animation there as Harris is going to be forced into the lineman, but he'll still bounce it out for a respectable nine-yard gain. And for whatever reason, Harris can bounce it outside through the tackles, but if we try to stretch, and he's going to prove me wrong, Harris going to have 20 yards. As I was about to say, Harris is not very good in the stretch plays, but, you know, we just keep getting proved wrong in this game. Can we do it twice then? Good blocks. Harris going to break a tackle. He'll have 11. Harris, 12 yards. Or, sorry, 12 rush attempts for 109 yards. And that'll be the quarter. We're tied up at 7 in the conference championship a lot on the line for your pirates bragging rights and playing spoil for rice the blocks Harris gonna break one tackle but the other tackler will be there rather quickly to help finish up the job Harris only going to get six on that play we're gonna go and do a action. We're just going to run it with a quarterback here. And Johnson is going to be hit. He'll get no yards. Alright, I know it's third and four. Uh, do we run it? I think we have to. I'll, I'll, I'll go to throwing the ball once we convert this. No hint of pressure. And Harris will have this easily. He might have more. 12 yards for Raji Harris. The Owls can't stop him. We'll see if we can catch him sleeping on the play action and hit Hopkins behind the linebackers. We're going to have just that. Hopkins over the middle. First down, 13-yard reception for the senior 
quarterback who now is the wide receiver. We have not really utilized our wide receivers. I think next season will be a different plan of attack. Harris going to lower the shoulder and break a tackle. He'll be in. Touchdown, Pirates. Kick is up by Tyson, and it is good. Studio update. Give us something juicy here. Northern Illinois and Miami of Ohio locked up at 24 with just under two minutes remaining. When I had Juicy in mind, that's not what I was thinking. It's more along the lines of, oh, I don't know, Florida, Alabama, Clemson, Georgia Tech, something like that, you know, like really juicy. But we will line up. This is going to be, nope, not another screen. We're going to back out here. Oh, he's wide open. McKnight unable to react. I mean, he's still backpedaling there. I mean, have a little spine and come up and make the play, yeah? I guess not. I'm going to try and beat him to the edge. Nelson is going to team up with... Who was that? Where? They're going to credit it with where, actually. I guess Nelson was going to break the tackle. <laughs> that is incredible. Well, this is a new thing I'm going to be doing, so... Do apologize if you don't like it. But... We need new screenshots... And we're going to go with, uh, how do we zoom out? Why? Okay. We'll go here, here. That's going to be the one right there. That's the one. Money. I can't believe I just said that. Cringy. That's so cringy. Ugh. Money. <laughs> it's worse for me, I promise, because I have to watch myself back. I'm going to cut off nothing. We're not going to cut off anything. We're going to run right past him. Just phew, right past everything. We're running to the locker room. We're done. We're hanging our helmet. And we're taking off the shoulder pads. Getting a nice warm towel. <laughs> Oh, God. It's going to be a quick pass. Mason unable to bring him down. Heldman unable to bring him down. And French will have a 15-yard reception. Never stops. It never stops. Never, ever. Oh, we got lucky there. Oh, man. Just drop the pass. I'm telling you, it, it is the weather. It is. I am I was not a believer in the beginning. I'm a believer now. And Nelson makes a good tackle to keep Petrie to a three-yard game. Ooh, excuse me. Hiccup there. Game. Five wide. We're going to commit pass. Watch for the quarterback draw. It's not there. And that will be another dropped pass. Man, are we going to luck our way into this? I think we are. College kickers don't miss. They're all NFL kickers. <gasps> wow. That's it? We just have to reverse psychology. Every time I say, oh, well, it's college and college kickers just don't make field goals all the time we figured it out three seasons in and we finally figured it out Harris will be stuck on the left guard there all right this would be a good time to bring out the pass see what we've got here it's a little bit of a big package not really what I would have liked but Oh, and 
that's why we don't pass the ball. I mean, what's he doing? Like, okay, you know what? Go in here. He's wide open. I see him. I'm like, you know what? Here we go. We're going to throw it. Lob it. He starts running upfield, which I figured he was going to start doing. So I just tap A. And that's the throw we get right here. Just me. I, I want it like you know, over the top. But no, we'll give Rice a, another opportunity with a short field to tie the game. Nelson will be blocked out of the play. Roland will be there to make a tackle on Griffin after a seven-yard gain. Yep, 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 yep. We're all doing good here. We're all doing good here. And a big tackle by McKnight to keep Griffin short of the first down marker. Can we do it again? Do I dare commit down to a pass or to a run? Oh, no. That'll be a touchdown for the Rice Owls. Rice was pretty much gifted that possession by Matt Johnson with his wonderful lob pass to Calhoun. Kick us up is good. Studio update. Give us something good. Miami of Ohio wins. 31-24. I was going to say something slick and then I just blanked. So we got nothing. All right. Got a score here. Um... I do believe Rice won the toss. So, there's that. So we literally have two minutes. Come on. Nice throw, nice catch, Lacey. Crowd going absolutely mad. Jeez. You think this is a home game? Is it a home game? It doesn't look like our stadium. Hopkins will have it. It is our home field. What is wrong with me? I don't know what's wrong with me. Don't just, just ignore me. Just ignore me. I don't know what I'm talking about. I just, I just, I, I just stand in and do the gameplay. Oh, I see him. Took me a while, but I see Alexander in the flat. Oh, wow. Over pursuing Alexander. Bobby Alexander with a 32 yard reception. It took me forever to, to see him. I'm sure you all were just screaming, hey, hey. I heard you. We got it. We got it figured out. Now, what we really have to get figured out is how to not score right here. That is where we stand. That's perfect. That's perfect. That's what we're looking for. It almost feels foul to tell Raji Harris not to score. We're going to come 3 4. Looks like we're going to have double outside linebacker blitz. If we do, and Harris will fall in. Not as much time off the clock as I would have liked, but leaving Rice with 38 seconds, I feel kind of comfortable. Tyson's kick is up and good. East Carolina will take a 24-14 lead with 38 seconds remaining in the half. Maybe we kind of kick this one a little higher than usual, kind of force a return, tick some more time off the clock. That's a perfect kick. Nice. 
Nice, nice. There we go. Four seconds off the clock. Uh, he did get a little bit better of a... No, 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 Rice will be forced to use one of their three timeouts. I tried to call a timeout at the last second. I really didn't like the defense we were in. Russ will make the tackle. French will have a 16 yard reception. I want to bring pressure, but then I'm like, eh, do I bring pressure on this team with this defense? Oh, he's wide open. Laney will close down the space quickly. Okay, that was his zone. I am the blitzing linebacker here. Finish. Yeah, I just I didn't like the defense we were in there. And I will, for, I'll, I'll take the time out to get the right defense out there. No. Griffin will have 15. They're not going to call a timeout. Clock is ticking. I'll make the pick. Oh, make the pick at six. Oh my god. I know this does literally nothing to the AI, but I like the way it makes me feel. And we'll just go ahead and tell him that uh, he's gonna make this. You're gonna make this, guy. You're gonna make it. All right, that kicker has like no leg because that was rough looking. All right, let's see. Do we have anything up our sleeve? East is gonna break a tackle. Back juke, nothing. 28 yards on the return. And that will have the score at halftime. Your Pirates, 21. The Owls, 17. They're going to get the ball back. Glorious. Okay. The one time we do force a stop... We give it right back to them on an interception. Nelson, good read along with Russ to keep Griffin to only getting three yards on the carry. Do I trust this man here? Whatever. You see what happens. Man in motion, left to right. Oh boy. McKnight and Frederick will link up for the tackle, keeping Griffin to only seven. That'll bring up third and inches. We're going to bring pressure. Double linebacker blitz. And Griffin will have that. With ease as he gets five yards. We'll bring McKnight, I guess. Try and dial up pressure that way. McKnight is usually very successful. So they're going to motion out the tight end who looks more like a offensive lineman. And Griffin will get seven on the carry.
Oh no! Oh no! Beyond got me. You got me. I tried so hard not to close my eyes. I'm sure that was funky looking, but I was just like, oh god, he's gonna pass it and I can't see anything. Come on, McKnight. Oh, I thought we were gonna get the spot, we didn't. See what we can get here. Come on, boys. Petrie, the third, 16 yards. If we just had more speed, I read it right. I just. I mean, Nelson, by the looks of that replay, was not bringing him down either. And Johnson the third is wide open. And I thought we were going to be switching to Laney. We did not. This is rough, boys. This is rough. This is rough. The press coverage. And he's wide open in the back of the end zone. Johnson the third, seven yard touchdown. And that's good for a Rice touchdown. Pending the extra point, it will take a 24-21 lead. What do we do? We are back on conservative. We We should probably take the whole third quarter if we can. just lay down it in mid defeat now is that what's going on good catch by stone a risky throw but I had to take it safety coming down Bounces out and outside, and Raji Harris, four yards. We're going to look to Hopkins here. That's what I like. No, I don't. We're going to run. Hit the edge. Johnson, we're going to duck out of bounds. Not risk anything. I wanted. Come on, boys. Why are we falling apart? Why are we falling apart? Harris, no gain. Is it. Uh, do we not abandon the run? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Take the check down to Calhoun. Calhoun's going to run him over. Calhoun setting up third and inches. Nice. Nice. We'll give it to Wise here. Have Harris in as the distraction. Hopefully they will commit. And we'll get that right perfectly. Wise has seven yards on the carry. That was a crucial seven yards. As it gives us a fresh set of downs. And Harris, another chance. And bounce it outside with Harris. 
Harris gonna lower his shoulder and he'll fight for 10. Markham just shy. That'll bring up second in inches. Listen here, guy. Calm down. This is my job, okay? I'll turn you down. All the way. You'll be gone. They're gonna commit to Harris. And we'll slide with Johnson to avoid the big hit from the safety. And we're doing good here. We're doing good here. We're playing this well in the sense that we will have the ball last. Good sidestep by Harris. Harris finding forward. He'll get seven. We'll let this one run down. Um, yeah, yeah. Okay, we're just... It doesn't even matter. Oh, yeah. That is the end of the third quarter. Rice leading 24 21, but your Pirates driving. We are second and three. I like this right here. Harris going to lower the shoulder. Harris runs him over, but luckily for Rice have another player there to make the tackle oh my Harris was looking to deal punishment we'll do a little misdirection see if we can't catch the linebackers eyes and freeze them for a second and I don't know if we'd say that was the reason that worked I'd say good blocking but Harris in for the touchdown and the Pirates will now take a 28-24 lead. Studio updates show us something good. Here's what we wanted to see. Alabama out to a early 3-0 lead over Florida. We'll actually probably have to look to the schedule for the outcome of that game. And that will be need in the end zone. March them out to the 25th. Pacific Life Game Summary. As you see, all fairly close to each other. Not very one-sided like it usually is with the Pirates driving and then the Pirates defense giving up big play after big play. Good read on the screen. Griffin only able to get two. This is for it all. We stop him here. That's it. I mean, it's not it, it. But it's like, it's kind of it. Come on, boys. Nice tackle by Dr. and Roland. My yeah, boys, sit on that marker. Sit on it. They're coming out empty. Oh, Nelson. And who was that? Who was it? Who was it? Mason. That's right. Mason. You feel like I should know the impact players, right? But I don't. A lot of names, okay? A lot of names. And he's a freshman. I should know him because I think he's a five-star. He, he may actually be a four-star athlete. We had two four-star athletes that we were recruiting as receivers, but then kind of stumbled into a nice little situation where they turned out to be pretty good corners, and we had no corners. Harris going to cut it up through the middle. He'll get nine yards. Here, my little nostril is clogged. With all the blitz. We're going to cut it back up the middle, and that'll be enough for a first down. Good read by Harris. Keep taking that clock off. Keep taking that clock off. That's all we need. That's it. That's all we need. Good blocks. Good run from Harris. 15 yards. I mean, these guys are just leaving it all out there. 
Harris in his last conference championship as a pirate. Sad day. Indeed, oh my god, he just got killed. Oh! Almost was commentating Harris's last play as a halfback, or maybe even a person. That was brutal. That was, that was brutal. Good read by Harris. Harris going to shed an arm tackle, and he'll have nine. Takes the school rushing yards from Junior Smith. Didn't get to see the yards because I was looking at the name. Harris breaks the tackle and will carry another Rice defender for a couple to get a three-yard gain. Harris a little slow to get up. Looks like we'll probably bring in Wise. Nope, he's staying in, coach. This is his last game. You think he's going out? Absolutely not. Harris fighting forward, and he'll be just short of a first down. I mean, this guy can't be stopped. Another 200-yard game for Raji Harris. And he's still in. No stopping for Harris. Harris putting on the jukes, and he's stuck behind the lineman. Doesn't matter. That'll be another East Carolina first down, and Rice will use the first of their three second-half timeouts. I keep giving it to him. Nice juke by Harris, and he'll have seven yards, and Rice will look to use the second of their third timeout. We have a lineman down. That's not good. Looks like it was the right tackle. Doesn't matter. The backup comes in and makes a great block. Harrison, three yards and another touchdown. The extra point is up and good. Tyson puts this game almost out of reach. Studio update has Alabama up 13-7 over Florida with 14 minutes to play in the half. Bruised elbow. Sparks will be back for the bowl game. And Petrie will bring it out. Russ not able to make the play. Not quite sure who made the play. Oh, okay, just kidding. We accidentally subbed Washington back in. I expect them to pass here with little time. And Mason going to wrap up and make a tackle on Griffin after a five-yard reception. We'll take five yards all game. And that's going to be a spike. I don't know if I agree with that. I think you need to have another play ready to go in that situation. Now you're leaving yourself. I mean, it is four-down territory, but, you know, you'd like for it not to come down to fourth down. And, oh, he drops it. The rain strikes again. Oh, they are mad. They're the AI, so they can't get mad. But if they were able to be mad, the AI would be mad right now. I know, it sounds ridiculous. Just go with it, I promise. He's going to have it. Oh. Bailey keeps Rice alive with that sideline snag. Good throw by Green. We'll go cover three to prevent the deep ball here on first down where they may look to take their shot. We'll go pass. Oh, there it is. McKnight! You got to react sooner. I mean, is that my zone? Okay, no. Okay, that's not my zone. Oh, yes, Heldman. Nice. Green will be sacked for a loss of eight. 
think this is where you use the timeout. No, you don't spike it here, guys. Oh, this is just poor coaching. Third and 18 you want to go with. We're going cover four here. I wish the zones weren't as deep. Pierce, Pierce is going to get the pick. I'm going to get the animation. That's the game. Let's go. Finally, we've been dying for the animation. We got it. And we are about to win this game having only thrown the ball seven times. Good block. Harris going to lower the shoulder and he'll add another 12 yards. And Rice will use their final timeout. I'm not quite sure why if you ask me. Yeah, I should probably not run Harris, eh? This would be terrible if he got hurt on this play. I don't know why I just spoke that into existence. All right, we're good. He's got back up. We're going to take the knee here. Okay, just kidding. We're going to run the ball again. Don't listen to anything I just said. We don't care. We don't care at all. Harris will get a, another couple. Call it four. And this will be the QB Neal, and it won't happen. East Carolina will take home the conference championship 35-24 over Rice. Matt Johnson stoked. Why wouldn't you be? Raji Harris, play of the game, breaking in all those tackles for six. Oh, man. Oh man, that like don't you just absolutely hate when one of your nostrils is closed? Florida's gonna hold on to win 45-24. That should all but keep us out of the college football playoffs. I don't think anything to do in the ACC championship will have any effect on us. Okay, we've already upgraded those guys. Uh, let's go schedules. This is the one we want to see. And Clemson will beat two loss Georgia Tech and they will most likely jump up to number four, or I'm sorry, number one. How are they gonna jump? up to number four when they're number two. Yeah, good good job there, Turtle, good job. Oh, so, not a bad season. We had the rough loss to FAU. Ah, that one just stings even more now. We would have been the only undefeated team in the top five, top four, call it. You think that put us at the number one seed for sure. Oh, Harris is going to lose. How? He was winning the whole time. That's just rigged. That's rigged. Miami of Ohio isn't even a more prestigious school than East Carolina. Oh, Brett Gabbert is going to win the Heisman Trophy, and it's by a lot. Why he was not in first the whole time doesn't make sense to me, because, yeah, okay. And we're going to drop a ranking after the <laughs> conference championship, and we will be ranked eighth. And we will be playing Maryland in the PlayStation Fiesta Bowl in Glendale, Arizona on New Year's Day. So a good bowl. We can't be mad. It's a good bowl. And Raji Harris will win, win the Walter Camp Award. Raji Harris will also win the Dope Walker Award. And John Lewis won AP Coach of the Year. Good on you, John Lewis. 
And that will be the episode. Maryland is our next. I don't want to be com like overconfident and say victim for Raji Harris, but I want to say it. Proving them wrong, Pirates are excited about their PlayStation Fiesta Bowl contest with Miami of Ohio. We're salty about Net getting the Heisman. Oh, I feel silly. It was Miami of Ohio, not Maryland. I thought that looked a little different. Okay, so yeah, yeah, just just we'll just overlook that. We're just like, oh, you know, Turtle's been hard at work filming these videos, so we'll just cut them a break. Thank you. Thank you. I knew you were just such an understanding audience. I just that's what I it's one of the things I love about you guys. So, an even better narrative now. Heisman winner Gabbert versus Heisman runner-up Raji Harris. I, I, just, uh, I, I have no words. I'm trying to find words. I have no words. Where's the stats? Stats. Season stats. Um, I want rushing. Yeah. Okay. Raji Harris, 2,400 rushing yards. The next closest was TJ Spears at 1,800. What? What? Okay. And, you know, respectable numbers. We're going to... You just wait until next season. This team's going to be a little bit different. And by a little bit, I mean a lot of it. So, we're not going to do the college football playoff for that. We'll just kind of leave that one the way it is as we've kept doing... Um, we're gonna update or uh, update upgrade John Lewis since it is the off season. We will give him another letter of intent upgrade, and that'll be the episode. If you made it this far, thank you so much. I appreciate the support. Like, comment, subscribe, so we can get to defeating this algorithm that YouTube set up. To I don't know if I want to say keep the little guys down, but you know, I don't pretend to understand all that stuff, but like, comment, subscribe, that helps. It gets the video out to other people so we can grow this channel. Yeah, I like that. You like that. Yeah, I don't know what the awkward pause was, but we're going to leave it in there. I like it. That'll be it for me. Like, comment, subscribe, and if you're new here, welcome. My name is Erdo Latoro, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.